What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt. I own a laser engraving business and I've started in 2015 and I do it out of my garage now. I used to, I started out in my basement, believe it or not. Outgrew that space, moved up to the garage. Come to find out, I outgrew this <laughs> faster than the basement. Because when you have people coming in and seeing what you can do, you grow fast. A lot faster than I was in the basement. So today's video is Calm Marker. I am working with Calm Marker. They reached out and they wanted to work with me. So I said, sure. I got this laser for one particular thing, and that was tumblers. I do, I have a couple of companies that come to me and they get to 200 to, all they do one of them that is 500 tumblers at a time. Now, to do that in the gantry style engraving machine, it takes a lot longer, so it takes me a while to do them. With these Galvos, how fast they are, I knew I needed to go down this road. And I didn't know exactly how much I wanted to spend and if it would be worth my while. Well, so far, this has been great. There has been some hiccups. So let's talk about that first. Let's get all the bad out of the way. Uh, I had issues with it engraving. Uh, if you saw the box coming in, I don't think I even took video of it. I was so excited. The box was mangled. The shipping guy was not nice to this thing at all. I actually, I'm gonna look on my cameras and see if I can pull it up and put the video in there. The guy that dropped it off pushed it out of the truck. So if that doesn't tell you how they are or how they were, <laughs> it was it was rough. So we got it going, got everything working, and they helped me dial it in, and it's been great. The one thing I didn't expect to do on this was wood so we do a lot of stuff uh, i don't even have any examples these bottle openers i'm gonna make sure i hold the right way because there's a lip there these bottle openers are awesome right they're black sweet only are the only issue is it's it's a different paint and for the price i can get them it was all right i can do them in the gantry and it's fine so when i do them now in here it does really good when I do it in the fiber, it takes a little bit. It's finicky it, to blow through that paint. I don't know what kind of paint this is, but it's, I almost thought it was a rubber, but it's not. I actually think there's something on here for, um, uh, what is it called? The st I can't think what I'm thinking of. I can't, I can't say what I'm thinking. It's, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue, you know what I mean? It's like right there and you wanna say it, but you can't like, it's not coming out. I just. It's right there. Like I almost just had it again. <sighs> Sublimation. I got it. <laughs> that big thing was on the tip of my tongue. All right. So anyways, sublimation. I think they're made for that, but for the price I can get them for, it's worth it to do it. So <clears throat> put it in here and I blast it out pretty quick. No issues. Um, what I can do, or I have done it once, is the guy wanted it to be like very prominent. So I actually did it in this laser and then I did it in the fiber to really boost it white. But anyways, this does it in seconds. So that's why I was surprised to do stuff like this. Also, with wood. I am grab like a chunk of wood. It will engrave it like like super quick. So that's the other huge, huge thing for us. Because we do a bunch of like these postcards. So when you do that, you throw it in here and it just done. So that has been a just Time saver, let's put it that way. A very big time saver. Um, the other thing is, it also can be a backup. So if I can't use the UV laser, then I know I can use this. I, I mean, I got the gantries, but to be fast, keep up with everything, I can use this. I have not done glass on here yet, but I will. Main thing for me is this thing's gonna be used for tumblers. I am gonna do the tumblers and it's been awesome with the tumblers so far and no complaints. Now with this, it comes with two lenses. 
I have not used this lens. I still have the 100 lens in there, or 110, and this is the 200. I <clears throat> found I don't need it yet. Now, some of you guys want to know, like, the specs. This is a 30 watt, and this is a 4 uh, four time 4x beam. So, I know some people, I believe, prefer the X, or the 8X, but I really don't have nothing to compare it to. So, so far, it does what I need it to do. Uh, the logo on this, I can get about two and a half. I wouldn't go more than that on a cup and a tumbler, and it's good to go. No issues whatsoever. Now, this does not come with the chiller. So, this is how much noise it makes. There's a lot of fans running. So, it's not that bad. It's like you're, if you're overworking a computer and then the fans kick on. It's about that loud, maybe a little bit more, but <clears throat> it's not bad. I actually, in the time of making this video, today, we just bid on a bunch of stuff for blocks. All different sizes. It's got company names on the four sides, different sayings with the company name, and it's a variety of boxes, or blocks. So that'll be fun in here because I can do them all in this thing. So this is gonna be crazy and fast. <laughs> this also comes with safety gear because you must wear them while running the laser. Laser. But so far it's been a great thing to have in the shop. I will say that. I am very pleased with it. This is between these three Galvos alone has cut down the workload tremendous, like a ton. I can take on more work, which I have been. That's why you guys haven't been seeing me. I am doing my best to do both. I actually, why don't you let me know in the comments, would you guys like to see more vlog style back when I used to do it, back when I started? Because I think I might go back to that just to make it easier because I can just set up a camera off in a corner and keep moving it for you guys and then I can show you guys the day, uh, day, pick a day and show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm thinking about doing that. If you think that's a good idea, put it down below. This also comes with the rotary. I have not used the rotary. I haven't needed it. And when I do, I'll make sure I record it for you. How about that? <clears throat> I have not used it one bit. I don't plan on it. I actually may, I'm going through a bunch of jigs right now to make so I can make it where I can use it for all my tumblers and glassware and I can put it on this one and I can put it on this one. I am still got my safety glasses on. Anyways, so that's what I'm working on right now. When I get that jig set up, I'll let you guys know what I come up with. Um, I've also thought about talking to a 3D printer. I do have a 3D printer. I thought about having someone making me a file and then I can just print a bunch off, but we'll see. One thing at a time, right? <laughs> I will also have a link for this in the description if you wanna use it. Use it, it helps out the channel. And thank you for all of you that have used my links. It's, it helps, that little, that little bit really helps. I put it into different things. <laughs> You'll see an upcoming video. <laughs> should I do the close out like this? Glad you got to see me again. Or should I go? Glad you got to see me again. Ha <laughs> ha!